So the next slide we have here is talking about the funding fee. Um, with VA loans, there is a funding fee. Uh, so if you can give us a little more information, explain to us what that is, Andy. Yeah, so um, depending on your status as active duty or um, uh, a military veteran, you would be required to pay what's called a funding fee. And that funding fee is based on, um, obviously on your down payment, it's, paced, uh, it's uh, based on uh, your usage, meaning is it your first usage or do you have a successive usage? Um, and it's also based on your certificate of eligibility. So there are gonna be some veterans that become exempt. Um, John might be able to get into the weeds a little bit more with exactly the dynamics of how the funding fee is utilized by the VA. Um, but what I can tell you from a, a lending standpoint and how I explain it to my clients is that the funding fee that you pay that gets added into your loan amount is what allows the VA to have you put no money down. Because what that does is it creates a pool of liquidity that helps the VA um, uh, uh, finance loans where there's, where there's no equity. Um, so unless you're exempt from that funding fee, you're paying a percentage of your loan amount to be added on uh, as a convenience of you not uh, having to put down a down payment. And in most cases, the amount of money that's adding to your, to your mortgage might change your payment by five to $10 a month. So it's well worth the investment of the funding fee to not have to come up with that three and a half percent down payment or 5% or 10% that other programs might require. And as you mentioned, um, the funding fee may be waived. Um, and I think recently, um, John, I was uh, at a, a program, a seminar that um, Centennial had put together for us. And you talked a lot about that funding fee being waived, you know, that there are a lot of people that qualify for that to be waived. Oh, yeah. Over uh, basically about 40, almost 47 percent of the vets are eligible for that. Uh, and that is if you have a, a service-connected disability. And um, I've heard so many things over the years, oh, you've got to be rated 50% or 40% or 80% or, you know, if you receive $1 of disability from the VA, you're funding fee exempt. Um, awesome. And uh, it, you, you'd be surprised how many people uh, are exempt. And, Let's say you got out of the military and uh, you're getting a VA loan now and you've applied for your disability, but you haven't received it yet. If, uh, and they used to refund it to you if you had applied beforehand by reducing your principal balance once you received it, as long as your application was in prior. But nowadays they're sending a check back to the veteran for the amount of the funding fee. So, uh, but it will be refunded to you, to your veteran, if your veteran had applied for the disability but hadn't received it yet prior to close. Then once you close, contact the VA and they send you a check back. That's so great. You'd this, be surprised how many people are exempt from the funding fee. The certificate of eligibility is really easy for us to obtain too. Unless you had a tricky exit from the military, um, all we need is the name, the date of birth, and the social security number, and we can enter that and usually have that certificate of eligibility back instantly. Great. I think that was something I really wanted to point out because, you know, I, I think that might make some people shy away from it a little bit. Um, the funding fee, you know, being a, you know, 2.3%, you know, of the loan, as you can see in the calculation down there on the bottom left-hand corner. Um, you know, it, it is a sizable amount, um, but like you said, probably about 40% of the people, um, it's waived. And so, you know, definitely worth checking into and, and looking into the program, you know, for that. We don't let that be something that, you know, shies you away. Um, yeah, in, in particular, yes, you do have the funding fee that you're adding on top of your loan, but there's no mortgage insurance for 100% loan. Right. No mortgage insurance ever will be put on a VA loan. Exactly. And I just thought of another benefit, not necessarily with the VA loan, but just something to mention that, you know, is a, a benefit to veterans as far as taxes are concerned. You know, those that um, are receiving this eligibility for the funding fee being waived, more than likely, I think, uh, they would also be qualifying for a break on their taxes. Um, that's something that, 
you know, they can get as well. Right. That's a county by county thing. And uh, absolutely. I've seen, yeah. uh, I've seen it where their property tax exempt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And definitely Lebanon County is one. So I've heard that a lot. So another, you know, good benefit for veteran buyers. Berks County is too. Good. Good. Now, yeah. just, just to kind of add on to that, if, if we would know for a fact that the veteran is going to be tax exempt, they still need to be qualified with the taxes included as part of their debt to income ratio. That, that tax exempt uh, petition that they would file with the county can't happen until they own the house. Right. So when they qualify for their mortgage, we have to include taxes insurance, even if everybody understands that they're not going to have to pay real estate taxes. Right. It will be refunded to them. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, a little complicated, but you know, in the end they're, you know, tax exempt. So another savings for veterans.